the International Day uh, against the, for the elimination of racism um, is a really is actually a really somber day. This is a, a marks in a, a massacre, and so in Sharpeville, South Africa, 67 individuals were killed, 183 individuals were wounded, all for standing up against racism, against the apartheid regime in South Africa, and so. Globally, people are mobilizing to say no to racism. I know my life personally has been impacted by racism since, um, since the colonial area where the British Raj came to India and occupied my family's territories and lands. So racism has been continuing since, and all of our lives have been impacted, which is why we're gathering here today. I'd also like to take a moment to honor that we're gathering in the memory of Lu Lucia Vega Jimenez. The tragic events that l led to death by suicide for Lucia are all a part of racist policies targeting refugees and migrants who are coming to this land seeking refuge. And so we, it's just wanting to honor and recognize that there are many lives and there's a cost to racism and it's in bodies. People are dying. And us gathering here today are saying that we're not going to perpetuate or promote a system that allows for deaths and the massacre of so many people. The country is founded on, this country of Canada is founded on the dispossession of indigenous nations, theft of resources from the global south, enslavement of black people, and the exclusion and exploitation of diverse communities of color. Shame. Today this continues with indigenous children being forcibly removed from their homes. We also see that refugees coming to this land and children are forcibly being detained. And at the same time, parallel to all of these tragedies, Canadian mining companies are going in to lands across Turtle Island, Africa, Asia, and South America, devastating communities by extracting resources but stopping the mobility of people. Tens of thousands of migrants, including migrant workers, are deported every year. Canada continues to be involved in military occupations and military trade from Iraq and Palestine. And now we're seeing increasing fear-mongering, stereotyping, and racist rhetoric coming from our very government. Shame. So we're here to honor the fact that there are many people fighting collectively in struggle against the racist policies within Canada, but also that we're allied to across the globe. We're gathering to honor the movement of Idle No More. We're here to honor that we are on Indigenous lands and that we support Indigenous sovereignty. We're resisting sentiments made by MPs that say, go home, go back to where you came from, because people are wearing a niqab. Shame. Yay. We're also here to resist poverty and gentrification that disproportionately impacts racialized communities. So again, I just want to thank you all so much to come together, to stand in solidarity, to resist all of these policies, all of the um, racist rhetoric, and and also to stand up and say that we're not going to be isolated and feel alone. We're not going to allow ourselves to be divided and feel that we're, um, our issues are separated. We recognize that this is, a, it, this is connected and that all of these things intersect with the racist agenda. 